Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a simple and small roller bearing, tapered roller bearing. See, this is the bearing. I I hope you like it. So let's see how to do in SolidWorks. Here, let's make the first part of roller bearing, outer ring. Choose front plane, sketch. Now here, let's select center line. Draw vertical and horizontal construction line. Select line. Draw one line in taper position. Okay. Now let's define. 30.5 mm and the length 14 mm. Five point seven five mm and define this length two point seven five mm. Okay, select here fillet point seven mm, select both the corners. Let's do point eight mm. Okay, and now make point five mm and select these two ends. Okay. Now go to feature and select revolve boss base. Select this vertical line as a axis. Okay. Now this is the our first part or you can say outer ring. Go to appearance chrome plate. We prefer to add chrome plating. Now let's save this part one. Go to desktop, create new folder, name roller bearing. Click on that and select part one, outer ring. Now let's see the next part. Now here let's make the next part inner ring. Choose front plane, sketch and the same as previous st step, select center line, draw vertical and horizontal center line. Choose here line. Now start to draw our geometry. Draw a taper line. and make a perpendicular line to this line. Exit. Let's define 15 mm the gap and length we will prefer 16 mm. Okay. Let's say 4 mm. Seven point six mm. And maintain the gap 2 mm. Point nine mm. Two point five one mm. Okay. Now here we forget to add something, delete this line 
and extend choose line connect with this line exit now select these two lines make relation collinear okay now try point 9 mm let's try this angle keep 77.32 mm 32 degree see our geometry is fully defined choose fillet first keep two radius 2 mm select one corner okay now keep 1 mm select this all three corners okay okay now it's time to re revolve select features and choose here revolve boss base and select this line as axis center line okay now select this face sketch normal and here we will draw some uh, choose here circle draw one circle select for construction and let's see the diameter 35.28 okay select here text we want to add some text here select this line first select made in usa then make the gap mt 1256789 this is the number of bearing now uh, it's uh, font is too big so let's make small let's say 3 mm okay 3 mm it's also quite bigger keep 2.75 mm okay select extruded cut and we want to cut and make the depth 0.2 mm okay see now it's time to define the material chrome finish it's looking a very nice now save this part number 2 roller bearing part number 2 is inner bearing uh, sorry inner ring let's make the next next part now here we will make the next part cage bearing cage choose front plane sketch select here center line vertical and horizontal center line okay choose a line exit now let's define select the outer corner upper corner let's say twenty seven point five mm delete this line and select this end point bottom twenty four point five mm
थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ओके सेलेक्ट डायमेंशन सेलेक्ट दर्टिकल लेंथ सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू थ्री एम एम डिलीट दिस लाइन नॉट डिफाइन द एंगल वन हंड्रेड टू पॉइंट सेवन एट एम एम ओके चूज फिलेट कीप वन एम एम कॉर्नर रेडियस ओके Now select here offset 1.3 mm and select the line. Select here inside. Okay. Choose a line. Close. Okay. Try again. Select one mm. Okay. Now the geometry is fully defined. So choose here revolve boss base. See it's rotating. Okay. Now select front plane. A sketch normal. Select this outer line here. Click here, convert entities. Now this line converted. Now select this line for construction geometry. Now exit. Now again choose front plane, and select here plane. Now select the axis. This uh, line we created, and we want to create one plane here. Okay. Now see. Now select this plane. A sketch normal, and here we want to make some cutouts. So let's draw a center line up to this point. Select here corner rectangle, and draw a rectangle. Exit. Select this rectangle and mid line, and make relation cos and cos cos symmetric. Uh, symmetric. Now it's time to define. 2.35 mm, 12.35 mm, and select the width 7 mm. Okay. Now this much we want to make a cutout. Okay. So let's select extruded cut. Keep here through all. Ah, uh, not through all. Uh, better keep blind, so it will not cut in opposite direction. Okay. Now see, hide the plane. And hide this is sketch also. Now we want multiple number of patterns. So select here circular pattern. Here select the cutout and select this circular face. We want eighteen number of cutouts or hole. Okay. Now see. Now go to metal. Choose here brass, polished brass. Now this is the cage for roller bearing. Let's save this part number three. Let's say cage. Now let's make the last part roller bearing rollers. Now here we will do the last part of roller bearing rollers. Choose here front plane sketch. and draw a circle with 7 mm diameter okay now extrude this circle 
keep here condition mid plane and uh, let's make 12 mm long okay choose here fillet select both the end 0.5 mm select this face sketch normal draw here one circle keep 4.5 mm ok and cut inside up to keep the depth 0.5 mm ok again select this face sketch and here draw one more circle and keep this 1 mm ok and extrude it 0.5 mm ok again select this face sketch and draw here 0.5 circle ok and extrude cut keep the depth 0.5 mm ok let's say mirror 0.3 mm let's keep point 0.15 ok point 0.1 mm select inside edge outer ring ok now we want to mirror this cutouts to opposite direction let's keep front plane mirror and select those all cutouts then extruded face then again one more cutout and select two fillets ok ok that's mirror I think one thing let's define the material chrome plate see let's save the part number 4 roller now here we will start the assembly of roller bearing here we forget to add some lines choose front play uh, right plane sketch and select center line draw one center line in mid from one end to another end exit simply exit and it should be visible it 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 will help during assembly save it now let's start assembly now here let's start the assembly of solid works roller bearing assembly this is the assembly window so let's browse the parts find out our folder roller bearing first select outer ring and then press control key inner ring now first came outer ring then inner ring choose mat select outer ring and inner make relation co-centric ok now select this face and this face and make a gap 3.9 mm ok now see it is rotating now let's browse the next part cage ok now choose mat select this face 
एंड इनर रिंग मेक रिलेशन को सेंट्रिक ओके ब्राउज दिस पार्ट इन साइड नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस फेस एंड दिस फेस एंड मेक कीप डिस्टेंस 2.15 पॉइंट वन फाइव एम एम ओके नाउ हाइड द अपर पार्ट और मेन रिंग now let's bring the last part roller now just rotate the roller okay now let's choose mat go to advanced mat choose width mat select this face and this face so see it's become in the center of this okay this will fixed here now select this side wall and select this face make relation tangent okay now this is tangent with this face now here we want to create one relation so better select front plane normal select here temporary axis open try to find some other right plane okay transparent choose mat select here distance select this uh, we created at the last moment one construction line in roller so select the end line and this center line and make the gap let's say 22 mm select okay now again choose the top line and this line i think no need to make another relation okay now change transparency high temporary line now see now just hide this temporary axis now it's time to make multiple number of rollers so keep here circular component select the roller and select inside face we want 18 number of rollers see okay now you can see this is the 18 number of rollers now show the outer ring now 
now see this is our main roller ball bearing now this is your final assembly of roller bearing see i just changed the color of i did not find this chrome finish brush brush finish i found this better than chrome finish so now let's do this some animation so right click here motion manager go to here motion study here i prefer motion analysis now choose motor i'll select the inner ring 40 rpm okay just play now see inner ring rotating exploded view now i want to explode all the parts so first part outer ring now select this all ball bearing bo rollers now select arrow and check this those two parts find out the arrow and drag here select okay now right click on the assembly collapse now go to animation wizard choose exploded keep duration 4 second in start second keep 5 mm because 5 uh, se second because up to 5 second it will rotate finish again go to animation wizard collapse next and here also 4 second but the start time keep 10 second finish now select calculate see it's calculating first it will rotate in inner ring then it's coming out now let's play so this is the beautiful uh, and a small animation of roller bearing i wish you like it now after making this animation you can save this animation in your desktop so right click click on the save animation save in your desktop i prefer custom ratio 16 by 9 frame let's say 25 save uncheck keyframe okay now here it uh, it will again recalculate all the position and after recalculating it will save in your system so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our videos and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching